Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video, I'd like to show you how to do some of the additional, or give you some guidance on uh, the additional modifications you're going to be making to your push rod. It's no longer a push rod anymore, but it could be, once you get that end put on there. And that end's going to be something, some sort of pad with a hole in it, so that uh, conceivably if it's mounted over here and it's got a pin over here, or a hole in it, that uh, you can put a hole and a pin and attach that to something else. So you could, it still could be uh, considered a push rod. And conceivably, you could make this clamp end over here in such a manner with such geometry that it could clamp on and end, you know, the, the end portion of that, uh, of that rod with a hole in it uh, to chain them together, put them all together like that so you can actually try to create a chain of these. So, but ultimately we're going to be uh, attaching this to our U-block assembly we're going to be putting together here in the next couple days. So we're modifying this end. So it fits on, it fits on that uh, U-block assembly, on that one of those U-blocks. And then this end is going to be modified in order to uh, provide some sort of pad with a hole in it. So, so how do we do that? Let's take a look at um, one of the files I have open. It's a file that I, I use for the video. It's got these silly little features in here that I call the industrial flute. But hmm. You can put on whatever you like, and whatever features you want to put in here, as long as it's, uh, it is some sort of feature that you can suppress by configurations, and uh, that, that's all I'm really looking for. So it could be a boss, it could be a hole, it could be a boss and a hole like what I have here. It could be uh, some sort of peg coming out of the side, uh, favoring one side or the other. Whatever you want to do, you can have a ring around it by putting a circular feature in there and doing a revolve uh, extrude boss space on that, or uh, a revolve boss space on that. Whatever you want, it's up to you, as long as you include it into a configuration and suppress it and unsuppress it for that configuration, that's all that meets uh, the requirements here. And that's uh, very same for the, the pad you have out here with a hole in it. It doesn't have to be this elaborate, this looks really complicated, but let me give you a heads up a little bit on how I actually created this and I think it will become less formidable. So if I take my rollback bar and go to the end pad, oh, what it's asking me to do is include that sketch in the end pad, which, which is what I want to do. I rolled it back a little bit too far because that sketch was exposed in our feature manager tree. But let's go to sketch it and take a look at that. I mean, this doesn't look as bad as it did before. It's just a circular pad, like a spoon in a way. But uh, one thing that's unique about this, uh, this extrude here is that it does come down to a tangency right at the middle of that cylinder. So you probably want to maintain that tangency. So I drew on the top plane. And you can too if you like. And what it is, I established initially a line over here, which I made uh, co-concentric, or coincident, with the very end of, uh, of this uh, solid feature of that cylinder over there. And once I established that midpoint relationship here, and then I made that 40 millimeters, uh, that's the same as the rod itself, as uh, the, the cylinder that drives that. So once I did that, then I have a tangent relationship in this arc. This way it's a nice, even transition from the from cylinder over here to the arc. I made these two arcs uh, uh, equal to each other, straight line across the top, and then I drew an arc over here until it became perpendicular to the center line that I drew. And I drew a hole in the middle and made those uh, concentric. So it really isn't that hard to make this. But the reason I made that tangent here, and that's important, I made a tangent here, and when I did uh, the mirror relationship to the bottom over here, then, oh, that's a dog barking. When I did that, then uh, I can create a nice easy fillet and it'll uh, come together uh, really nice. So let's go ahead and rebuild that and take a look at what that looks like. Next thing I did is put in the impact hole and then I put the fillet in. So let's look at the fillet and see how we did that. It looks like we're going to get the door here. So I might have to conclude this here. But uh, let me come back and I'll show you how to do the fillet in the next film and then we'll talk about the U block.